Hi everyone, welcome to the Sound Hub uh, webinar where we're going to cover uh, some of the things we've been working on to help uh, resellers uh, be able to go to one place and have everything all at once. Pretty excited about this. Uh, I just want to introduce myself. I'm Christina Taylor. I'm the VP of Operations for Sound Payments. And with me on the phone is Akash Patel. He is our systems administrator and he is the one who built Sound Hub. Uh, he did a phenomenal job, so I just wanted to give him a shout out. I may call on him to uh, chime in from here uh, uh, a couple of times here or there uh, as we go through the process. So um, we've also got some of our sales folks on the phone. Uh, at any point um, where you know you guys have questions about pricing on some of the things that we're going to talk about, uh, you can reach out to those guys. They'll also be available to cover SoundHub with you uh, at any moment in time. So with, uh, without further ado, we'll go through uh, the SoundHub. So today we're going to talk about um, what is SoundHub, what does it do, what is it for, and who is able to use SoundHub, who, uh, who is it intended for, is it intended for my merchants, for me, um, how do you get access, how you set up your profile. We'll go through all the features and functionality. And then we're going to talk about the roadmap and some of the things we're going to add to it. So this is a, the first out, what you're going to see today, all of the features that we have. Um, we, and we've also got a roadmap. We're going to continue adding things and functionality as we get feedback from you. So at any point during the presentation, if you, I'm going to ask that we hold all questions till the end. Uh, then we'll open it up to some Q&A at the very end of it. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to type it in also in the chat in the Q&A session. Um, and uh, I'll, go, I'll do my best to uh, answer it either along the way or at the end. So um, that's that. Uh, what is SoundHub? SoundHub is our one-stop shop for services and support. So you'll be able to do multiple things, not just support, but you'll be able to place orders You'll be able to engage us at support by opening a ticket, uh, checking your ticket status. You'll be able to see all of your open tickets, all of your closed tickets right there on SoundHub. Uh, all of the contact information you need for various things at Sound Payments. So you don't have to remember 10 different, different email addresses for who do I contact for billing, who do I contact for sales, who do I contact for support. Everything's listed right there on the hub so you know where to go. Um, we'll also have chat available through SoundHub, so you can uh, contact us that way. We also have our reseller community forums where you can interact with other resellers and talk about uh, current issues or uh, things that you've experienced or uh, anything really uh, relating to the industry or relating to sound payments um, uh, products and services. So we've got that. Um, access to our knowledge base where you can see all of the product documentation, training materials, training videos, uh, and so forth. So we're really working to make that piece of it especially very robust. Um, so then uh, SoundHub, who is it for? It's for licensed resellers of SoundHub, uh, of Sound Payments products and services. So if you're a reseller of ours, this is for you. This is your place to go um, to do everything. Um, the address is soundhub.soundpayments.com. Uh, it's part of implementation services that you'll get set up. So that's the way you get set up. It's by invite only. So during the implementation process, as your implementation manager carries you through uh, the different milestones, one is to set you up with SoundHub access and to go over it with you. So you'll, when you join us, you'll get an account profile. You'll get your login. That's where you'll go because we, we all have gone through training, right? And you go through training. And you're not going to remember everything that you just got trained on. So it's good to have that same training also in the form of a, of a video series that you can go back and uh, show to your new hires or anyone else um, that you bring on or watch it as many times as you need to. So it's just another layer for you to be able to, um, to have access. So this is the roadmap. We'll cover that at the end. I'm going to switch over to the actual sound hub. So when you get access, this is sound hub it's gonna bring you to this first screen and it's gonna ask you to set up your profile. You can add your picture if you want. Um, it gives you a cool little dashboard of how many posts that you've done on the community forums. As you post more and interact more on the forums, you get badges. 
So if you um, if people upvote your uh, responses to questions and things like that, you can get um, you can achieve the level of expert uh, level two. Um, there are different badges along the way that uh, show your interaction capabilities and how uh, how well you answer other people's questions. So it's kind of a cool little added feature. Um, and then here it, uh, you get to see your activity. Um, I don't have any posts on the uh, community forums yet, uh, but it'll show you everything you've posted and then anything you're following or watching that others have posted, you can kind of see it quickly here. Um, here's where you set up your profile, you give your user information. We're gonna ask that when you do get set up for SoundHub, you use your company email address and not a personal email address because we like to link this to your account um, in our CRM so that we can make sure we're um, keeping track of, of everything that you need, all of your open tickets and everything like that so that we can follow up with you. Um, your time zone and all of that stuff, uh, you can access from right here and change your password. So that's um, setting up your profile. All of this is super easy and super simple. Um, from there, you can go to your homepage um, and everything you need is right there at the bottom, the contact information for everything we've got so far. Uh, let's see here. Uh, my area is what we talked about where you can access your tickets. So you've got, um, you can search for articles or you can, um, uh, to try and resolve your issue and if you don't find it, um, let's see. It's searching. So we've got a ticket in here that came up um, and it's searching tickets. Uh, I'll show you how to search knowledge base in just a second. So we've got it broken down by uh, department or product and solution. So you'll see all of, if you log in, you can go to Quantum Cloud if you're a Quantum Cloud customer and you can see all of your um, open tickets. You can see your closed tickets any tickets that are on hold for whatever reason, you'll be able to see those. And you'll only see your own tickets. So this is kind of a cool way to go in and check the status, check if somebody's checked on it lately or anything like that. Um, here is where you can add a ticket. So there's a cool button right here. This is not the only way you can contact us. This is just one option. If you wanted to open a ticket here um, and explain uh, exactly what the issue is, you can do it right here. As you start to type in the subject, and we've got, um, we're still working on this functionality, but as you um, type in uh, a topic, a help desk article will pop up over here in the right-hand column, pertinent to the issue that you're having that suggests certain fixes. And if you don't find your fix, you can continue with the ticket, um, choose your categories, whether it's a request or whatever you have, or feedback um, or general inquiry exact error on the screen, your description, you can even upload files. Once you save this ticket, it automatically routes to the support team and we get notified. So that's one way you can submit a ticket. Um, and then here's a quick hot button to go to the communities. We'll cover that in just a second. Um, but this is the ticket area, the my area. So that's pretty cool that you have visibility to that. You've also got the ability to uh, place orders right here on SoundHub. So whether you're placing a bulk order for equipment or equipment only where there's, you purchased the equipment and um, you're doing your own boarding and deployment, um, you're gonna do that here and place an equipment only order. And it shows you everything to fill out. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. That routes to us and tells us um, uh, that there's an order uh, available. And then there's also the POS or quantum orders or the Petro order form uh, if you're a petroleum customer. So you click on one of these and um, these are what you use if Sound Payments is doing the boarding and deployment for you and you're not doing it yourself. Because this form is a little more involved, it's gonna ask for a little more information, the VAR data for the merchant um, and uh, keys and um, configuration information for the terminal and for a pack store. Uh, that we need to be able to do that boarding and deployment for you. So two types of orders, equipment only, and if we're doing the boarding. So we've got all that there. Um, coming soon, you'll be able to see order history and order status and um, open orders. 
so that's on the roadmap and we'll talk about that when we go over that. Um, knowledge base, like I mentioned, full access to the knowledge base. Okay. Here we go. So this is our knowledge base. It's broken down by product type. Um, so if you were a uh, quantum cloud customer, you'd go here and you have access to all of the knowledge base articles, user guides and manuals. Uh, that give you different articles on how to do things. It's pretty neat. Um, let's see, so we've got all of our training material here. So if you wanted to uh, learn how to do boarding, how to replace terminals, how to um, do, uh, uh, or we've got a web webinar for uh, pack store training on here um, and web uh, portal walkthrough video. So you can go through all of this stuff and um, look at it, it's pretty, uh, pretty easy to navigate, pretty self-explanatory, which is good. Um, and we've got Petro, pretty much the same structure. We've got um, training videos, user guides, knowledge base. Um, these are um, knowledge base articles. So as we um, see things in the field, we're gonna create an article on it and you'll be able to have access to it. And same with our sound POS. So we've got training videos and webinars recorded. Um, this library will become more robust, the more feedback from you we get. So um, if you'd like to see something on here at any point during this presentation, if you think of a cool feature that you'd like to see, please feel free. We are all ears. This is pretty customizable and easy to do. So um, it's not hard to add features. And then we've got our community. Um, our community is our, uh, forums, our reseller forums, where you can interact with folks. So depending on what solution you have, you can do it one of two ways. You can go in here and look at existing uh, existing posts and reply or add stuff to it, or you can add a topic. Your first topic, um, your first post will be moderated. It has to go through an approval process. Any subsequent posts um, don't go through that process. So you just gotta make sure you're following the community guidelines and rules. So I think this is pretty neat. It allows um, uh, folks to talk to one another and interact. So it's pretty, we're pretty excited about that piece of it. So any new announcements or things that you see coming up is going to appear either in this very top header or um, a sticky post. So uh, right on the home page, you'll see announcements that are important if we've got an update to the product or Anything we want to tell you about that we feel is important, we're going to announce that here, right on the home page. Um, the sticky posts will remain. It's very similar to a pinned post uh, that's going to remain at the top for anything super important. And then you can see uh, all the recent topics listed here and how many votes they got. You can interact with it. It's very similar to social media in that you can create comments off of any of these um, any of these posts. So um, that is pretty much the overview. I'm going to um, unmute Akash here so that he can chime in. Akash, do you have anything to add? Uh, no, I think you did pretty well. Uh, so I'm, as Christina mentioned, I'm the one of the developers for SoundHub. And uh, I guess we're really excited to show you this. And hopefully, it will be very useful to you. Uh, we'll, be adding more features uh, down the road, as she mentioned. So just look forward for those. Awesome. Yeah, and like he said, um, anything you can think of that you want to see here, please reach out and let us know. Um, with that, let me show you the roadmap um, on future uh, future fun functionality that we'll be adding. So June one, we're going to add where you saw create a ticket and um, add a post. We'll have the ability to submit a training request. So if you have a training request and you're not doing your own training for your merchants and you want to sign somebody up for training uh, post-production after your implementation is finished, that's where you'll go and request that. So you'll be able to request it right online um, and it'll route to us to, to schedule a training for you. Um, inventory upload requests for our POS customers, you'll be able to submit a request for that as of June 1st right on SoundHub. 
uh, our billing portal. So uh, we are in the process of integrating our billing portal to SoundHub. So you'll be able to log in, look at previous invoices and look at your current invoice and your balance and be able to do all of that right online and pay online. So we're working on putting that together and that should be available for you July 1st. Um, we'll also have all of our training videos for POS uploaded and our chat uh, functionality uh, listed there as well. So you'll be able to, in addition to opening a ticket, you can also engage us via chat and just chat us right there and we'll respond. Um, and that will record as a ticket in your open tickets on your uh, My Area section. So all of that stuff will be automatically tracked. You can go in and look at the status. You can go in and look at your saved chat um, and it'll all be right there. Um, all of the training videos for Petro, we're targeting August uh, 